You're going to hear an audio tape of Grandma Yola Martinet Banker. And uh, I'm going to show you photos of the family. This photo was taken at 9863, uh, where uh, Grandma Yola and Grandpa Bob lived when I was a little tiny toddler. They moved into uh, 9835 once they put the two-story part on, uh, maybe a year after this or so. And this is the house that I lived in with Grandma Yola from 2003 until 2020. October of 2020 when she passed away because I didn't take her to the doctor in time, although I had been giving her antibiotics, but with the pandemic, I didn't take her to the doctor. So, uh, but I lived here for 17 years with Grandma Yola. My mom, Yolanda Lani, lived here most of that time, she she moved back to her to her other house, eight sixty, um, maybe uh, three or four years before twenty twenty. You can see though, even even when uh, Grandma Yola was probably well, she was fifty eight when I was born, so she was probably just. 60 or 61 here but already you can see she she looked a little bit unsteady on her feet um that was a big issue with her for for many years being unsteady I mean, she could st still walk for quite a while but uh you know it looked kind of precarious <laughs> um it kind of looked like she was always going to fall down Finally, she got the walker, and that helped a little bit, but um, it would kind of get away from her, so she still kind of needed a little bit of supervision with the walker to make sure, you know, kind of hold it back every once in a while, or or because she had like a one foot was kind of a flat foot and um, didn't have an arch, uh, the walker would veer. She would push it kind of one way, so she would sort of veer to the side a little bit and, and I needed to, um, you know, push it the other way a little bit and be right there beside her to make sure that, you know, she kind of kept going straight and, and went walk in a strange line there. Veer, went veer. Okay, I think Grandma Yola is going to be talking about a recipe that uh, she used to make. And she's uh, going to be speaking in her dialect from northwestern Italy, um, Prustinank dialect. Um, and I'll show you photos that are important to the family. This is uh, a picture of me and my dad, Eugene Arthur Coates. There's Grandpa Bob in the back there by the um, video camera tripod. My dad was uh, probably about 51 there, 50 maybe. Okay, and uh, shule in uh, the Pristinic dialect means onions, I think. So maybe taglio is to, to cut, so she's cutting onions for this recipe. Yeah. your voice was... So first she put uh, a little bit of uli, which is olive oil. Shuli. Uh, now you're cutting onions. Oh, wait, see. Epre and li fang Say that again? Li fang What does that mean? But first I did li bi tam put the uli. Epre ura bi tu shuli ke tayu a ding and tuli. So uh, she put the olive oil in the pan, and then she put a little bit of the 
or she put the onions that she had cut um, in the pan with the olive oil. And sometimes she says, a puy, and that means like, and then, or, you know, and so, or and then. And it's all curry. Then you'll cook them. See, curry, cook them. Hey. A puy, can they simply uh, curry? When they're cooked means when they're cooked. Kante y son is as soon as they are. Kante y son cooked as soon as they are cooked. It's all curry. Then you'll cook them. See, curry, cook them. It's curry. Kante y son cooked when they're cooked. And they put a little thing and a broccoli. Can you for curry? Once the... Um, Onions are cooked, then she'll put in the broccoli. When they're cooked, uh-huh. and they put a little thing and the broccoli. Okay, well, for curry. You need to cook broccoli, too. Me, 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 my daughter has a cute nose, nosy. Uh, so um, she's saying, I have a bal naziko, uh, a pretty or cute nose. Uh, I'm not sure if she's going to continue the recipe or not. Um, this might have just been a way to, to make broccoli taste better is to cook, you know, some... Uh, chopped up onions with olive oil and then put the broccoli in and broccoli might taste a little better that way than it would just steamed plain. My daughter has a cute nose. I liked it how Grandma Yola would call me my darling, uh, you know, sometimes. Cute little nose? Nose. So do you. Huh? So do you. No, baby, bang. Me like hump. Grandma Yola always thought she had a hump on her nose, but she really didn't. It was a nice straight nose. I mean, it might have had a teeny tiny hump if you wanted to call it that, but really just a straight nose. It was beautiful. No, baby, bang. Me like hump. She said, my nose is a uh, bell, you know, pretty, you know, cute and cheat and little. Uh, I just wanted to say in this picture, if you look at my shoes,